to make this insane 3D element text, first thing we're gonna do is right click, click new, put in whatever text you want. We're gonna do shoot a time. Once you have your text in, we're gonna be using the font Uni Sans Heavy Caps if you guys wanted to know. After you have your text in, we're gonna right click, click new, go to solid, and we're gonna name this 3D element text. And we're gonna make it black just because. Once you've done that, you're gonna go up to your search bar in the effects and we're gonna type in element. Drag your element onto the solid, solid. Nice. Now we're gonna go down to custom layers, custom text and mask. Go down to path layer one and put on your text layer, which is shoot a time. Once you've done that, go into scene setup. Once you're inside element, the first thing we're gonna do is go up to extrude right here. Click on that and then your text will pop in. From here, if you want it nice and thick, you go down to bevel scale right here and we can make it a lot thicker. We're gonna go down to presets. And in this case, for this tutorial, we're gonna be using the Pro Shaders Pack. If you guys don't have this pack, it is probably somewhere on the internet that you can, you know, purchase it. We're gonna go down to metal and we're gonna click on, where is it? Clean metal, clean this one right here. I knew it. Once you have the it on, it's all black because there's no environments. So we're gonna add an environment to it. We're gonna go click up here this little drop down and we're gonna load from file and for this tutorial i'm gonna use one of the environments from my environments folder i'll probably be leaving this whole entire folder on my pay hip you guys want some really cool environments for this case we're just gonna click on this one texture right here we're gonna click on okay and then there we go now we have our environment on the text we're gonna click okay we're gonna go back now we have our element 3d text from here we can go down to the text layer and actually just hide it with this little icon next thing we can do is if we want this to be animated we're gonna go up animation engine we're gonna click enable from here we're gonna go scroll down to animation we're gonna keyframe that right here and we're gonna actually have this go all the way to 100 and then we can go ahead in our timeline. Let's go two seconds and have it go all the way to zero. But there's one thing, if it doesn't work, it's because you gotta go up to group one, go down to particle look, go to multi object and click on enable multi object. From here, there we go. Now we have our actual text animation. We're gonna close that back down, go back to the animation engine. And as you can see, we have the text kind of come in with this cool animation. If you guys want a different one, Click right here on animation type and we can do directional and it'll be like Wee. once we have our animation we can close that out we're going to go down to render settings and we're going to go down to ambulate occlusion and we're going to turn that on from here we're going to go to the intensity and just absolutely crank this puppy right, up so until however much shadows you want on your text we're going to go to the samples turn these samples up hopefully your computer doesn't blow up once you've done that, go back up to group one. And this is kind of just what I do for my element text. And we're gonna go down to deform and we're gonna pretty much just bend the text. So we're gonna go to bend. We're gonna click enable, go to the bend direction, put in 90. And then from here, the bend angle, you can actually just turn this up and it'll actually just kind of bend the text however much you want. Once you've done that, we can go up to particle replicator and we're gonna go down to rotation. I usually on the X rotation, I usually have this kind of go into the negatives just a tad to get this really cool angle. So to get this cool insane rainbow text, you're gonna go up to your effects and presets and you're gonna type in S underscore persuade. Oh, I spelt it wrong. Oh no, it's right there. Boom, right there. It's a, it's in the Sapphire plugin if you guys don't have Sapphire. We're gonna grab the Suedo color, put it onto our text, and as you can see, now it's all gets that cool rainbow look. From here, as you can see, you know, it's it's colorful, but it's not colorful enough. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our effects and presets, and we're gonna type in deep glow, grab our deep glow, put it onto the layer. And as you can see, that's where the juicy sauces come into play. Once you get to this point, we're going to go back up to Suedo Color and do a couple of settings for the frequency. You guys can play around with the frequency, but for this case, we're going to do five. Once you've done that, go down to Deep Glow and we're just going to be playing around with the Deep Glow settings. So for the radius, we definitely want a higher radius. So we're going to turn this up. We're going to go to about 410. For the brightness, we're going to turn the brightness up. And this is where you guys can just play around to see however much you like. For this case, we're gonna do about 1.5. And for the threshold, we're actually gonna turn it down just a little bit. From here, you guys can add in more, you know, glows. So in this case, I already have it in, but if we can put Z glow on it, it would definitely just help juicy it up. From here, we can actually turn this down and make the width near and the width far a little higher. 
All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the video. If you learned something today, make sure you go drop a like down below, and the in-depth tutorial will be on my pay hip down below. And on that note, consider watching these two banger videos right here. I guarantee you guys will not regret it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Sheesh!